Hey, what's going on guys? It's Johnny Phrase back with something new for you guys to check out. This time around we have a new product from the Fight Stick Asia crew. Website is www.fightstickasia.com. And what we're going to be looking at is their new Fight Stick cases slash enclosures. And they're dubbing this one the EXC Samurai Metallic Case. Um, you see the dimensions right on the screen. It's actually bigger than your typical Fight Stick case, almost 19 inches. And uh, it's fully metallic. So let's go check it out. I did get a demo unit that they had shipped me all the way from Hong Kong. So shout out to um, Young and the team over there for allowing me to kind of check this out. And I haven't cracked this open yet, so you guys are going to be with me as I open the uh, package. Okay, there's the case itself. Definitely going to need a vacuum. Okay. Oh man, they gave me art? Oh, these guys are the truth. So sick! Um, they were really nice enough to send me a JLF, um, which is my stick of choice and they also were really nice enough to send me their uh, brook board um, basically they have a breakout brook board that they they make themselves and if you order one of their fight sticks I believe it's the one that comes stock oh man it's even got um, four auxiliary buttons right away Cool. Thought I was gonna have to provide those too. Let's see. Off the bat, I can tell you the panel is it's a really tough metal. Uh, painted. Alright, pretty strong enclosure. Now I'm hearing here is where the on the bottom side. This is basically where your um, cable will come out, and you can see it right here. And there's a little compartment for that as well. I think the cable will come out of there. That may be a, the awkward piece. Um, a lot of fight sticks, obviously, they have their cables coming out of here. And I'm hearing this can open. Now, uh, let's figure that out. Let's see. Hmm. It's looking like this piece can just come right out. Ah! Okay. There you go. I guess that's how it's done. So basically, you guys see here there is kind of like a cabinet hinge and right over here is the pin that kind of goes in there which is kind of sweet and here is our whole PCB setup let's take a look at this this is the board that they would um, come with oh really cool they even uh, give you all the uh, all the connectors and here's their board and cool they gave me instructions too pop this open and you can see the Brook um, small board right over here that's PS3, PS4 and PC and this is the ribbon cable for the JLF a little instruction booklet with all the connections let's see fit and feel I'll, po I'll pop it on my lap real quick for you guys Whoa, it is super heavy. Um, this is something that you definitely want. Um, one feedback right away, it's kind of slippery. You know, I'm wearing a decent pair of jeans, a little slippery, so I would personally add some sort of grip. Maybe um, I have the foam mats that I add for my fight sticks, but that would be good. Um, now, I was kind of concerned with the spacing of the, uh, of the buttons. But I guess it's kind of deceiving because, you know, the artwork or like, I guess the ledge ends right over here, but there's this huge bezel and it's sloped down and it's actually really comfortable. So that's not really anything to, to sweat, you know, because um, preferably, you know, some of the fight sticks that don't have this edge, the buttons are moved up so your palm can rest, but this is not really an issue. So... What I'll do next, guys, is get some buttons in here and um, basically mod it out and get it up and running. Oh, cool. Look, there is a cable compartment right here. So that's your second option. Didn't see that. So there's an option right there, or I believe you can run the cable out of here, whichever is your preference. But pretty solid. Um, again, it's available on FightStickAsia.com. Go check them out. And I'm going to get building and the second part of my video.
All right, guys, so here we are. This really couldn't be much easier. I'm just going to plop some buttons in. Boop. All right, get ready, feel it. Ugh. Pop that open. One, two. All right, guys. So, just basically finished up everything. Um, what you're seeing completed is basically a JLF link mod. So you could pop this off, and I could stow, you know, the uh, stow my ball top inside. All right for travel, which is uh, pretty sweet. Plan on making this one in my travel sticks, and I also added a foam pad so it's nice and uh, sticky when I'm playing with it for tournament use so that it doesn't slip and I maintained the uh, the little door here for the cable so let's go try it out all right guys so we're here in the uh, PC version of Street Fighter 5 right now just gonna test out the stick for you guys feels super solid really heavy nice weight I did add a couple uh, things to kind of make myself more comfortable with the uh, foam padded mat. I also added a JLF link just so that I can uh, remove the uh, joystick if I'm traveling with it. Now the case is metal so there is a little bit of like a different feel. Some of the plastic sticks you know it definitely has a little bit more of a hit and like a harder harder tap. You can hear the buttons even probably from my microphone. So feels pretty good on that end. Um, let me try combo. Look at that. So level 10 Chun-Li combo on the first shot. This is a solid stick, guys. So if you're considering a case or a new stick that is not um, one of the commercial options that are out there, this is definitely a good pick for you guys. Hit up the guys at www.fightstickasia.com. Again, it's an EXC fight stick enclosure. You can get it all decked out or just buy the enclosure yourself. All right, guys, till next time, I'll catch you soon. Peace.